Aloha, travelers. My family just got back from our stay at the first ever Hilton Grand Vacations Club Resort in Maui, and I wanted to share my experience with you. It wasn't an easy feat to book a room. It took me over a year and 23,520 Hilton Club points to secure my cozy one-bedroom suite. But let me tell you, was it worth it? In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the resort's amenities and facilities and share my thoughts on who this resort is perfect for and why you should or should not consider staying here. So sit tight, let's dive in. The Hilton Grand Vacations Club Maui Bay Villas is a brand new resort situated on 27 acres of stunning beachfront property that overlooks Ma'alea Bay and it's just opened its doors in November of 2021. At this time, the resorts boast 131 all-suite accommodations ranging from one to three bedrooms, each featuring a full kitchen, a separate living and dining areas, and other top-notch amenity. In this video, I'm going to show you around our one-bedroom penthouse suite so you can see for yourself just how beautiful this place is. If you're headed to the resort from Kahului Airport, it's just a quick 20-minute drive away. As you make your way down the picturesque South Kihei Road, be sure to make a left at Kaunulu Street which will lead you to the resort's entrance. When you arrive, you'll check in at the clubhouse which features a water feature outside. Inside the clubhouse is absolutely massive with floor-to-ceiling glass walls that offer breathtaking views of the pool area and the ocean beyond. You'll find plenty of seating throughout the space with beautifully designed chairs and sofas that add to the resort's unique charm. Allow me to show you the one-bedroom penthouse suite we stayed located in Building 6. As you can see from the drone footage, this is the exact building where we stayed and our specific suite was on the third floor, room number 6307. This suite over here. Now let's go inside and explore all the luxurious amenities this suite has to offer. As soon as I walked into the suite, I noticed that it looked smaller than what I expected for a penthouse. However, what caught my attention was this unique and large dining table with four chairs. The modern kitchen definitely stands out, complete with high-tech appliances and beautiful backsplash. Look at that! It has a large refrigerator, an electric cooktop and oven below it, even a wine chiller at the corner and a microwave above it. Smaller appliances like the coffee maker, electric kettle and cooking utensils are also provided for the guests' convenience. You'll find a washer and dryer next to the dining area, but make sure to read the special instructions first on how to operate them to avoid any confusion. The living space is located right next to the kitchen and it's quite cozy. Just ignore my son. The space has a comfortable sofa bed, two chairs, and a coffee table. Personally, I'm not a fan of the cushion's colors and patterns, but that's just my personal taste. On top of the modern stand with ample space, there's a 65-inch flat-screen TV. Now let me take you to the bathroom area. The first thing I noticed is that the space is a bit tight, especially for a suite labeled as a penthouse. There's only one sink vanity, which may not be ideal for some guests. However, one great addition to the bathroom is the electric bidet. While bidets are common in many parts of the world, this one is particularly luxurious. Unfortunately, there's no bathtub in this suite, which may disappoint for a suite labeled as a penthouse. The standalone shower area is another point of discussion. While it has a Polynesian-inspired design, I found it to be busy or even ugly. I'm sorry. Perhaps if the tiles were only on one wall, it would look better. Let's move on to the bedroom. While the room is certainly beautiful, it might feel a bit cramped. The queen-size bed is very comfortable. And there's a large cabinet in the corner to hang your clothes. Another perk 
is the 65 inch flat screen TV, perfect for some in room entertainment. However, I think the most impressive feature of this suite has got to be the stunning view from the lanai. The lanai is quite spacious and has a small table with four chairs on one side and two comfortable chairs, one of which comes with a footstool on the other end. You'll get to enjoy the best view of the pool and the ocean from afar. Every night, I was treated to a breathtaking view of the sunset from our lanai. In fact, let me show you one of the sunset videos I took from our lanai. Simply breathtaking, isn't it? By the way, before we delve into exploring the resort's amenities, I kindly request you to take a moment to show your support by liking this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, I encourage you to do so now to stay updated with future content. And thank you for your continued support. Now let's proceed with the tour of the resort's amenities. I have to point out that while there are currently limited facilities available, as construction is still ongoing and expected to be completed by 2027, there are many empty spaces around the resort as you can see in the drone footage. Here's a sketch of how the resort will look like once completed, with more amenities planned for guests to enjoy. For now, here's what's available. There are two locations where barbecue grills are located, but currently only one site is operational, and the other one is still cordoned off. I'm sure there will be more barbecue grill sites in the future. During our stay, I have seen a lot of people utilize the barbecue grills. Undoubtedly, the main draw to this property is the stunning swimming pool known as the Super Pool. Although it appears to be three distinct pools, they are all interconnected with water cascading from the upper level pool down to the lower level pool. The entire pool area is surrounded by an abundance of sun loungers as you can see from the video. The centerpiece of the pool is the magnificent man-made waterfall located at the center of the pool area. The upper level pool is the deepest and features a man-made waterfall that cascades into the middle pool. Adjacent to it is a hot tub, perfect for relaxing soak. Guests can also enjoy a thrilling slide that drops them into the middle level pool right next to the man-made waterfall. The middle pool, which is relatively shallow around 3 feet deep, is an excellent spot to relax or engage in some water sports. There's a basketball hoop so guests can shoot some hoops while in the water or play volleyball. The lower level pool is intended for young children as it is quite shallow, only about one foot deep. It also features a small water slide. The most remarkable feature of this area is the section equipped with comfortable sofas and chairs and a 65-inch TV, making it an excellent place for parents to relax while keeping an eye on their children having fun in the pool. No resort swimming pool would be complete without a pool bar, and this resort is no exception. Here you'll find plenty of gorgeous sofas and chairs where you can relax and enjoy your favorite drinks from the bar. Located behind the pool bar is the grab and go where you can grab a quick bite to eat. There's also an activity center and a fitness center which is equipped with state-of-the-art fitness equipment. If you're looking for a quieter, more relaxing spot where you can still enjoy views of the pool area and the ocean in the distance, head outside of the clubhouse. Alternatively, you can take these stairs from the pool area to find loungers, sofas, and comfy chairs. One of the distinctive features of Maui Bay Villas is located right across Kihei Road. Here you will find a smaller yet serene adult-only swimming pool which is quieter compared to the bustling super pool area. Adjacent to it, there's a small beach area, still undeveloped, and an oceanfront beach club. However, please note that the sweet key card will not work here, and you need to obtain a separate key card to access the pool and the beach club. I spoke to one of the staff members and he mentioned that the pool area only accommodates a limited number of guests at a time. 
so you can just come here whenever you want to. As far as the amenities of the resort are concerned, I have shown you everything that it has to offer. So who are the target guests for this property? It is definitely couples with young kids who have been to Maui multiple times that just want to relax and soak up the Hawaiian sun while the kids enjoy the pool. The other group are retirees who wants to get away from the hustle and bustle of the mainland but who prefers to stay in the resort and enjoy its amenities. I don't see this place for people who will just make it as a place to rest at night and go out and explore Maui during daytime due to its high cost. Allow me to evaluate whether spending your hard-earned money or using a considerable number of club points to stay at Maui Bay Villas is worth it. Generally speaking, Maui is the most expensive Hawaiian island and being the first Hilton Grand Vacations Club property on Maui contributes to a high cost of staying here. As I mentioned earlier, I used 23,000 points to stay at the one-bedroom penthouse suite for five nights, which equates to around 5,600 club points per night. Alternative if you book with cash, the same room will cost you between $600 to $800 a night. The cheapest suite at this resort costs around 1,500 club points or about $300 per night. The question now is, is it worth the cost? As of the moment, I would say the answer is a resounding no. Let me explain. The resort is still under construction and currently the only amenity available is the pool. Pool bar and the Ocean Beach Club are both closed at the moment leaving grab and go as the only food option aside from cooking your own meals. The layout of the resort is similar to King's Land or the Bay Club on the Big Island of Hawaii, but the cost of staying at those resorts is significantly lower. For instance, a three-bedroom suite in King's Land for five nights during summer cost only 19,000 points or about 3,800 club points per day. The same club points you used to stay at Maui Bay Villas can get you a two-bedroom penthouse suite at Hilton Waikaloa Village Ocean Tower or at the Grand Islander at Hilton Hawaiian Village on Oahu, both of which offer better and more amenities. Besides, the beach at Maui Bay Villa is not that great. If you have a different opinion or will argue otherwise, please let me know in the comments if you believe the cost is worth it. Even though this is not a timeshare property, but staying at Hyatt Regency Maui is a better option when vacationing in Maui. Please click on the thumbnail for my review of the resort. I hope you enjoy my review of HGVC Maui Bay Villas. Until next time travelers, mahalo!